Hello and in today's motorhome chat I'm going to be talking about local authorities, tourism and how local authorities could potentially get us to spend money in their areas by providing us, the campers, with uh, more facilities. And I was looking at one place in particular. So now I often talk about places I've been to, for example, you know, I'm driving through Germany or Austria or France or, or wherever, and uh, I show you the Stellplatze, the air, and, uh, and what things are being done. But I'm going to actually use an example now from Western Cork in Ireland, because the authorities there are trying to find ways in which they can uh, get more motorhomes to come in, uh, get the, the um, campers to stay uh, at uh, either the, the Stellplatze or whatever the airs which they're going to create, get them to use the rural pubs and restaurants and to come up with a motorhome policy to get all of these things working together so that people will have a complete tourist package at the same time as uh, really enjoying themselves in the holidays. Now, according to 2015 figures from the European Caravan Federation, there are approximately 1.7 million motorhomes registered in Europe with the highest levels of ownership in Germany, Italy, France and the United Kingdom. So there is clearly a significant market in encouraging overseas motorhome tourism to Ireland. Now obviously it does cost a fair bit to get there, but Ireland is a pretty, pretty good country for motorhome tourism in as much as the population is relatively low, so there's huge tracts of countryside where um, there's really next to nobody around, it's got stunning uh, uh, coastline above all as well as uh, internally but uh, the coast above all and uh, those areas which are above all going to attract people are in the west of the country. Now Cork County Council has said that in 2018 it's going to be establishing a steering group it's going to get representatives from the council, the Irish Caravan Camping Council, tourism, hospitality providers, motorhome sector and uh, television and all sorts of other things together to develop its policy. So, uh, what could um, they do? Well, I think what many people want is, uh, above all, its places to stay, because after that we'll, we'll spend our money quite happily. Now, one of the things you might think, well, can we stop at a campsite? But often it is the campsite to work as a commercial venture does require a certain amount of vans to be there. So, I mean, and it could be that the infrastructure within a given uh, village cannot justify the presence of a campsite. So I think that the biggest thing that we really want is places to leave our vans, to, to stay for the night or stay for two or three days. I mean, not just for the night, but we really want, I think we want longer periods. It's not like stopovers uh, I'm, I'm talking about. But if you're going to get to know the re region, you do want to spend probably a little bit more time than that. And um, so, okay, but providing, for example, a place to stay doesn't really cost the council anything. What may cost them what money is obviously put if you're going to start then talking of putting in things, infrastructure such as electricity, uh, dump. Uh, now, if, for a commercial dump, you're probably looking at a, a water dump, I mean by that, you're probably looking at a cost of around 10,000 euros, so something along those lines. Um, is it worth it? Well, how long would it take to get that money back? And that is the question which needs to be answered. Nonetheless, in my own uh, travels, I'm going to be referring to this, and I'm going to point out ways which uh, camp local councils have done things to help campers. Now, I know I'm speaking to the converted here. Um, you people, if you're watching my films, you're already a camper, or you'd like to be a camper you're probably not working in a local authority, you're not a decision maker. But if I can put ideas forward, and I can give examples, then maybe you know somebody who is in a position of being able to do something. And if this one person in a thousand does that, then it'll be worthwhile. It's worthwhile for me, it'll be worthwhile for you, it'll be worthwhile for all of us. Thank you.